Welcome to Trans Series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm your host Jason, and before we get down to this video, this video is brought to you by MC Scara Trooper. And if you have a recommendation, I'll put your comment on screen for everyone to see. Now let's get down to this juicy news. So according to this list that was posted on a Chinese Instagram, a studio line name list, and I'll cover each and every one soon. But if you look at Wave 3, we see Transformers 6 Knockout. And Transformers 6 is not the Transformers 6, it is getting referred as the Bumblebee movie. Now, what could this be? mean well who is knockout well the last thing i've ever remembered from knockout is he was a character in transformers prime and he later switched to autobots i believe during the finale now like travis knight said it's going to be a light heart film i believe so maybe knockout becomes an autobot but i kind of doubt it but there's a big possibility for it now knockout is going to be that red car that we saw it kind of looks like an off-road vehicle it's also seen in the thumbnail and i think this is going to be really cool now the robot mode for a lot of people like lazo ven made a concept Art, I don't think that concept art is going to be knockout because the dread hair and everything is just not knockout ish because knockout is a slick guy and I don't believe that would fit his personality so I guess we have to see and wait now let's go start on this list from top to bottom so let's go start at wave one wave one says transformers 4 stinger which I covered in the studio line video leaked images along with transformers 1 ratchet which was in that video crowbar and tf1 jazz now what's cool about this jazz figure is we don't know if this is a leader class or a Voyager or Deluxe. Now I'm actually happy because the old Jazz, well, it was not the best representation. It was really bulky. The UN Alliance one did a lot better. And if they're making a new Jazz figure, I hope they're going to make it right, which I believe. And I really hope they do not retool the old one because it would stink. We needed a good Jazz for a long time because the Jazz currently does not really scale in my opinion because it's bulky and because back in the day the figures were bigger instead of the smaller ones that we seen the last night. So I'm very happy that we get to see a new Jazz figure. Wave 2. Now there's another Transformers Jazz, which maybe this is a leader class voyager deluxe it doesn't say on the list so i guess we'll have to see and wait why there's two jazzes maybe it's the repainted version in g1 colors i'm not sure transformers 4 lockdown and we needed another lockdown figure for a while because the old one huh, it was, wasn't that accurate let's just say and because the car mode didn't even have windows on the sides and the hasbro release had all of this brown which doesn't make sense and then movie the best came out with this uh more movie accurate one now i hope with this new lockdown that it actually has that gun face now not the one where you clip it on but where it could actually first turn into that green mask and then turn into the gun face i think that's gonna be really cool and i hope this is gonna be a deluxe or at least voyager because i like lockdown's character he had so much cool detail but his toy was never really good in my opinion let's just hope this lockdown is gonna knock the old one way out of the park which i hope it does now what's actually interesting here is a transformers 3 sound wave well all my hard work for that custom sound wave i did well that's gonna get thrown out the window but let's hope that this sound wave is gonna be really Really good and plus the public really never got a dark of the moon sound wave because i believe it got canceled along with the lead foot and the dark of the moon q wheeljack deluxe version of sound wave it was good but it could have been better so i hope this new sound wave is going to do a lot better and i hope it's not a leader class i'm gonna believe it's either a deluxe or voyager another transformers 2 sideswipe now i believe the old side swipe that we got from revenge of the fallen was a really good figure in my opinion especially sidearm sideswipe so that's cool that we're getting another one hope it's not a retail like most of the stuff on this list but another side swipe what could this be what could they add to the side swipe well they could make him more slimmed down because the engineering got better and better since the first and second movie just look at a uh, hound with his feet the way those feet transform is really good so i hope they're gonna incorporate the sword somewhere similar to that so the car is not gonna have as much panel lines because he's supposed to be a sleek car and i think another side swipe figure it will do really good i hope it's gonna be all chrome like he was in the film like silver and i hope they do that silver for the dark of the moon sound wave too now here's the list for wave one we have transformers one Optimus Prime, which we saw, Transformers 2 Megatron, which we also saw, Transformers 2 Starscream, and Transformers 1 Brawl. Those are all covered in that video, so it'll be in the description below if you want to check that out. Now, to Wave 2, we see TF1 Starscream again, and a TF1 Ironhide. Now, we have never got images for the Ironhide, Lockdown, or Jazz, and I hope this Ironhide is going to be really good because we are getting movie masterpiece Ironhide, and I know that guy is spot on, spectacular. So, I do hope they do a better Ironhide because, yes, the Dark of the Moon, in my opinion, was the best Ironhide you could get, but if they do another one, what we saw in Studio Line with the Stinger, it could look really good, and with that Stinger, it is mistransformed. I'm almost 100% positive it is mistransformed because I know Hasbro would not release anything that would look like that. Wave 3. Transformers 6 Optimus Prime. So, 
all those theories of Optimus Prime going to be in the Bowman movie is confirmed. So that's great. I always want to see Optimus Prime, like, in a flashback between Megs and Prime fighting each other. Maybe Optimus Prime says, B, go to Earth, you know, find the trail of the Allspark. I don't really know, because Megatron at this point, I believe, is crashed on Earth. So I guess I'll have to see when the movie comes out, and I'll be also doing a review on that and a non-spoiler review. What actually gets even more interesting is we see a Transformers 2 Fallen. Now, I gotta say, the original Fallen from Transformers 1 to the Fallen was actually, in my opinion, pretty good, and the one that was way better than that was the Hunter for the Decepticons one, because it came with his staff and his face could actually be removed. So, how could they up it? I think they're actually gonna take the one from the Hunter of the Decepticons, repaint it in his original color screen, because in my opinion, that would work really well, because Hunter of the Decepticons Fallen was just all blue, it never even looked that good, in my opinion. It was only good for the staff and the head removal, so I can't wait to see this Fallen figure in a picture and I'll give you guys updates when I get those. So now we have another Transformers 3 Shockwave. Now, like I said, we do not know if these are Deluxe, Voyagers, or Leader Classes. Now the original Shockwave is really good figure in my opinion, really slim, really accurate, so I don't think they would do another one of those, so I'm gonna believe that they're gonna do a uh, Leader Class one, because we really need a Leader Class one, and maybe for the fall, and I could be mistaken, so maybe they're making a Leader Class fall. So that'd be pretty cool if we got a Leader Class Shockwave, because Shockwave is just one of those characters that we really need as a leader class instead of getting another Bumblebee because, you know, he makes all the money. And last but not least, we have another Transformers 3 figure, and this figure is Sentinel Prime. Now, I gotta say, I hope they don't do another leader class because the leader class Sentinel Prime, in my opinion, was really freaking good. What I think they should do is redo the Voyager Sentinel Prime because that is a shell former, and I have him on my shelf. Yes, he's accurate, but I just don't like the way he transforms, and he's a shell former, like I said. So, maybe that's one of the reasons why he didn't sell that much. I'm not 100% sure, but if they do do a Voyager or Deluxe one, this will be really good as a replacement for the old one. Well, that's all for this piece of news. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. If you have a recommendation for a theory you want me to do, comment down that below. And if you have something I missed out on in this video, like a picture or something, give me a comment down below too for that. So that would be great. So I can update you guys as soon as possible. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, you call